In today's global economy, multinational companies employ a growing number of cross-border employees. This mobile workforce has become a critical and competitive asset. However, expatriate employees often present more of a challenge for employers than locally hired staff, from not only a tax and compliance perspective, but also from an employee retention and benefits side. In this episode of FDTV, we have come to Brussels to attend the Generale Employee Benefits Forum. 2016 has been pretty spectacular for the Generale Group, as it celebrates not only its 185-year anniversary in the world of global insurance, but also 50 years in employee benefits. We speak with Ludovic Bayard, General Manager of Generale Employee Benefits, JEB about the emphasis that enterprises need to place, in his opinion, on international employee benefits in order to better retain and look after their expats. But first, we speak with Ralph Lehmans, Senior Director, International Compensation and Benefits at the Resida Hotel Group, about the scale of their expatriation and the importance of balancing cost control with providing high-level coverage to all employees. Because of our rapid growth over the past 10 to 50 years, probably on average we uh, moved at least 50 to 60 employees internationally. We had a couple of peak years where we even uh, moved probably around 100 general managers. Each time we enter into new countries, we want to uh, send someone uh, from within because they have the expertise in order to bring over that expertise and those standards in those new countries where the local skills are not available. Today finance directors are always involved when it comes to uh, cost elements because obviously they're always much concerned about the PNL. Balancing the cost of an international program uh, versus the benefit and of, a pro of the same program is a challenge and is always a discussion and a hot topic internally. We've been able to prove uh, the return on investment and I think as well offering a premium insurance, a high class insurance is a long term investment that is necessary in order to achieve the, the long term strategy and the long term goals of a company. And it's just a price that sometimes needs to be paid. Clearly, we've seen a trend in the last years uh, and an increased importance of employee benefits, which is a good news for us. Uh, I think clients realize that uh, to attract and to retain people, uh, you need uh, good employee benefit solutions. So it's not uh, any more uh, uh, purely uh, human resource topic. Uh, more and more finance directors, CFOs are getting involved uh, because they see the value of these uh, solutions uh, uh, also to increase the productivity of their company. So it's getting for sure, uh, uh, it's becoming a key, a key asset for the, for, the, for the companies. What are the biggest challenges multinational face when managing the relocation of their expats? They underestimate the cultural aspect. Uh, they tend to focus on the price, on the benefits, uh, but they tend to underestimate the importance of understanding the culture where people are sent, uh, and especially the aspect also for the family that is following the expatriates, which is extremely important. And uh, if you miss this aspect, uh, most of the expatriation will fail. If the partner, if the wife is not happy, the expatriation will fail, irrespective of the package you can offer to the, to the expatriates. Working with a global provider like Generali has a lot of obvious advantages. It's their global network, it's their global presence, it's their global expertise as well. But most importantly, I think they're able to come up with a one-fits-all, uh, a global solution uh, for us being in a very decentralized organization. And that is something that uh, Generali was uh, successful in. We ask our speakers to tell us a bit more about the working partnership they helped establish between JEB and the Resida Hotel Group. Our relationship with Generale started exactly 10 years ago, actually, so it's our 10-year anniversary. The reason why we reached out to a global provider like Generale was because we reached a point that we had such a rapid growth, an international growth, that we wanted 
to find an international solution, a global solution, rather than each time when we entered a new location that we were looking for a, a local solution. Because it's not that someone moves internationally and comes back to the home country and that's the last time that someone moves internationally. No, it's almost a constant moving around within Residor. We have, it's called uh, what we sometimes call a global nomads. They, they're not tied to any home country anymore. So for them, it's very important that they have somewhere in their back pocket an, an international plan, an employee benefits plan, which they can carry with them throughout their career. Like many clients, they came to us to, uh, to simplify their lives. Uh, managing employee benefits can be a complex uh, issue, so they are coming to a network who can convert this complexity into simple solutions. So they came to Generali to find easy solutions, coordination, governance, uh, and also clearly financial uh, economies of scale, which at the, end of the, at the end of the day is also important for, for CFOs. How big a role do employee benefits now play when it comes to staff attraction and retention levels? The war for talent, I think, has always been out there. It's not something new. It's there today. It will be there tomorrow. So how can we ensure that we indeed attract and retain the best caliber of employees? We do not just look at cash. Eh? Don't get me wrong. Cash is still one of the most critical elements as part as an, a competitive compensation package, but the importance of employee benefits in particular, I think international insurances, has gained a lot of value. For us in particular, because of our international growth, it's actually a core element of our total compensation approach. And I think we try to distinguish ourselves in the market in our war against much bigger hotel companies by offering a premium or a high class insurance because that will allow us to move people around it will give the necessary comfort to employees also to take that international assignment knowing that they're well taken care of not just for themselves but also for their families the key benefits are uh, basically all the benefits uh, on which the state uh, benefits are reducing, so it's pension, it's risk in health care, this is the traditional part, but more and more uh, prevention, business travel insurance, wellness services, this is, a, this is a clear trend we see in the market. So how will the world of international employee benefits evolve in the years to come? The world is changing quickly, it also applies to insurance, so many uh, more complexity, regulations, expectation from clients, that's a big change that we have to adapt. More importantly, the new generation, so the millenniums, are having very different expectations. So I think the key asset for any new company is to uh, remain agile, open-minded, flexible, to make sure that uh, you change your model, you change your process on a regular basis uh, to adapt to the new requests from the market. That's the key uh, asset that any company should have, this uh, flexibility of thinking. Employee benefits will continue to evolve uh, in, the, in the future, in the near future, on the long term, because I see a lot of challenges ahead, not just for the vendors, but also for us as a global company. Because of an aging population, because of the increase in the statutory retirement ages, there are a lot of challenges, in particular how will we be able to keep people longer at work? How will we be able to make sure that people still have a decent insurance after they retire. That will be uh, a challenge for both us as a company as well as the vendor. Expatriate, third country national, assignee, offshore worker, these are just some of the terms used in the broader category of a mobile employee. Some reports estimate that there are around 15.5 million expats worldwide. And this figure is expected to grow even higher in 2017 to reach 56.8 million, which is 0.77% of the total global population. Furthermore, some countries have a higher number of expats living there than the actual local population. Suffice to say that every one of these international employees needs to be looked after by their company.
not just from a salary perspective, but also from the employee benefits side of things, ensuring that they receive the best support in their new country of residence.